The name Na Trang derives from the Chom word Ya Trang, which means Reed River. The translation of Na Trang makes sense considering that the Na Trang Pagoda, which is a statue you see on the screen, is located at what was just a small vil village for catching fish until the 1970s. The Na Trang shows the Buddha sitting on a lotus flower. A Buddha sitting on a lotus flower represents that the lotus flower has taken his course and risen above earthly desires. Like the lotus flower lifts above the mud and dirty things under the water, the Buddha shown on top of the lotus flower represents just as the lotus flower has risen above earthly desires, so has the Buddha shown in this artwork. Specifically, the Na Trang Pagoda is located in the Cha Long San Temple. Interestingly, the town that has the Na Trang Pagoda is located in and has an airport that was used by both the United States Air Force and the South Vietnam Air Force during the Vietnam War. Na Trang is one of the most famous, ta famous towns in Vietnam because of everything it has to offer, especially the Na Trang Pagoda. The next statues we will look upon are a big discovery from Quan Niam Temple in Vietnam. After the discovery of the antiques in the Temple of Quan Niam, the People's Committee in this particular community in Vietnam found the Buddhist Cultural Museum, which has the proper name of Hin Dinh Quoc, making it the first Buddhist cultural museum in Vietnam. Before the establishment of the Hin Dinh Quoc, they found all the antiques, like mentioned before, discovered approximately 500 objects with over 200 antiques. Deputy and Director of the Hin Dinh Quoc said that they accidentally discovered what he refers to as a treasure box. After this was discovered at the Quan Niam Temple, the, the leaders of the temple had experts and monks sent over to examine their discovery. The collection of the Buddhist antiques which are preserved at the Quan Niam Temple have great value. From the Buddhist statues, bronze censers, from objects of worship, all are unique treasures. This comment was expressed by an expert that helped to examine the treasure box that was found. These statues shown upon the screen are among many in this temple. As you've heard before, the Taoist warrior and the praying Buddha represent the Buddha or Buddhist monk that brought their religion to China. These statues are important to the Vietnamese people because if the monk or Buddha did not bring Buddhism to China, then the Chinese would have never brought in Buddhism to Vietnam. The female statue in the background represents a woman that would be walking around the temple in Vietnam. Many other experts commented on the statue's great beauty and worth. Sought after deputy and director of the Vietnam National History Museum stated, I was impressed by their rare and precious value. All the rec recognition this discovery has gotten is pretty remarkable. Many ancient Buddhist statues have been donated from countries all around the globe for display at the Hin Dinh Quoc. The next artwork we will be focused on contains a lotus flower. Many Buddhist statues in Vietnam have a lotus flower incorporated into their artwork. The Vietnamese community really seems to like having and making Buddhas with a lotus flower part of their culture. There are logical reasons why Vietnamese Buddhism especially uses a lotus flower in their artwork. The lotus, lotus flower, to put it simply, represents all the good things that the Vietnamese people aspire to be in this life. The statue seen right now is located in a temple called Thop Temple. The Thop Temple is in Hoc Bok Providence in northern Vietnam. In Vietnam, you can go to almost any house and find that they have an altar for ancestor worship. It is a little less common to see an ancestor worship altar with a Buddha, but nonetheless, ancestor worship with a Buddha is a real practice. If you were to visit a traditional Vietnamese family, you would more likely than not find that there was an ancestor worship altar in the center of their home. Ancestor worship, worship in general has been a practice in Vietnam for decades. In Vietnam, people who practice ancestor worship strongly believe that they are showing respect and gratitude to their fallen ancestor. When a person dies in their culture, their body goes on to live another life. So really, ancestor worship is just blessing someone in their next life. There are also myths in Vietnam that their ancestor that has passed the next life have magical powers and are able to come back and bless their posterity. Knowing this, the ancestor's posterity really shows their respect and gratitude to their ancestor. They wish for blessings, wealth, and anything they might want or need in, the, in their life. In Vietnam, life changes every day and their culture continues to shift, but ancestor worship is something that will certainly never fade. Can you explain how Vietnamese Buddhism or Buddhist home altars influence the practice of Buddhism? So I'm not an expert in Vietnamese yeah. Buddhism per se. Uh, my dad was in Vietnam, so I know a little bit through that and then just teaching religion. Um, I think what you're talking about is the fact that you have an altar at home, so people are probably going to do their worship, um, their prayers in home instead of actually going to a temple. Okay. Um, I have a picture here. 
uh, question number four. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think this means, and what are the symbols here? Is there any symbolism in this picture? Um, kind of hard to tell from that picture because it's kind of from the bottom looking yeah. up, but it looks as though Siddhartha is sitting on a, a lily, <laughs> and um, again, he's in meditation. Um, I think it could symbolize m maybe the balance in life that, that one needs okay. to have to attain enlightenment. Okay, uh, what insights do you have on Vietnamese Buddhists trying to achieve enlightenment? Um, well, Viet Vietnam is, uh, it's interesting because just the political uh, essence of Vietnam is also culturally mixed, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, I think in the north, a lot of the Buddhist influence comes from China, which I believe is Mahanya. And then the southern part of Vietnam, which originally was um, democratic, uh, which the United States was fighting for, is influenced a little bit more from India um, Buddhism, which um, I believe is uh, Theravada. Mm -hmm. Um, so you have a split there, um, but I think most of the time in any country like that, you're going to get a diffusion of different ideas and customs and cultures with that. So even though they may be split regionally, I think a lot of times you see that uh, convergence of, of, di of the same practices that kind of blend together from the interaction of the people. Okay, uh, that's it. I mean, okay. thank you. Thank All you right. very much. You're welcome.